So hello everyone and today we're live on YouTube and today I thought I want to get this off my chest. I know I do have another stream later on which I'm going to set it up. Um, we do have Jez coming on the channel at 8 o'clock uh, tonight. We'll be talking about Arsenal's season, how it's going so far and about transfers. But I thought I'd bring on someone from Twitter and uh, called B Waggle. I think that's right, isn't it? Birat Waggle Waggle. Birat yeah. Waggle. So, yeah, so today we're going to be discussing about this transfer saga of Victor Gucarez, right? And uh, I want to get this off my chest because Arsenal have been linked to this Sporting Lisbon striker. And yeah. um, I want to get your initial thoughts on this as well. But I'm going to share the stream so everybody can actually see, see the stream. But before we get onto the get onto this video um please do smash that like button turn the notifications on and uh, we do youtube for fun and all that stuff it's good to meet up with people and that and um of course let's get at least minimum and share the channel yeah so arsenal have now been linked with this sporting lisbon striker victor gucarest for 85 million um I want to get your initial thoughts because this is the top story which everybody is loving about uh, on social media. Um, so I want to get your initial thoughts. What do you make about this transfer saga? Are you keen on this guy? This guy is 25 years old. Um, I don't know. What do you make? Uh, first of all, uh, uh, I haven't watched him play live. But uh, looking at, at his stats, uh, he's very impressive, man. Uh, I think uh, he has already bagged 50 GA this season. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I think this transfer is too risky, uh, in my opinion, because uh, in the playing in Premier League is totally different than in uh, Portugal, France. Uh, so I'm I rather prefer Isaac uh, 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 than uh, Bukaros. For me, look, this this way is going to get a little bit of controversy, right? And I don't want people to be like, think I'm being like all crazy. But yeah. everybody said to me, I have to make this video about Victor uh, Gucarest, right? Yes, for me, we're going to have a look at his stats right now. But yes, he's got a prolific goal scorer. He's got 22 goals in like 24 and he's got five and nine. So he's got about 30 goals this season, right? I think a lot of people on social media are getting a little bit overhyped because for me, this fan base for me, right, are just all believing in and, and then flip-flopping, right, and saying, oh, yeah, he might, he's the answer. Oh, he's the answer. Some people say, for me, look, don't get me wrong. I'm impressive with his goal-scoring record. Don't get me wrong. Right, but I just feel like there's a better strikers out there. He's a decent yeah. player, but for me, I don't think this guy is not good enough to cut the Premier League. Go and prove it. Go and prove it in another league. If like if this striker was in La Liga or the Bundesliga, then I say, you know what, I rate this guy. But for me, in a Portuguese league, but this, this you don't mind me if I swear, yeah? right? But this fucking fan base. Right on social media, all sucking it all in and believing, right, that this striker for me, right, is going to cut the Premier League. And everybody is believing and falling in love with this striker, right, and believing that this striker is going to get 30 goals in the Premier League. Is he better than Haaland? <laughs> he's all no, right, he's there. but he's not better than Haaland overall, right? Is he better than Victor Osmian? Right now, yes. But for me, if Arsenal want to go on and win the league, this striker is not going to get you the league title. I guarantee fucking to you. Yes, he is doing very well in the Portuguese league for Sporting Lisbon. Yes, he has got 30 goals so far. But why is it that these people on social media are going by logic, by looking at his stats, by looking at his goals and all that? For me, this striker for me, look, he's a... He's not completely shit. He's a good player. But yeah. he's not world-class. He is not world-class. Because for me, for me to say 
right, that he is good enough in the Premier League to go on and win the league, go and do it in the Premier League. Go and score 20 goals a season and see if you can do that in the same way you're doing it. Because Darwin Nunes, for me, right, he came to Liverpool in his first season, yeah. right? Everybody was call calling him a flip-flop, right? But for me, right, in his second season, right, he started to perform well. I don't want no striker that's going to come in and, and this fan base are going to say on social media, oh, give him another season. We've spent eight... We need other positions, right? Yeah. I can understand, yes, he's more cheaper than the other strikers. I get that, what people are saying. But 85 million with a 100 million pound release clause. Go and get someone like, go and get someone even better. Yes, Victor Osmian. People might say to me, Luca, what are you offering about? Victor Osmian uh, is 130 million. Arsenal ain't yeah. going to pay that. Well, go and get Ivan Tony then. But now, I was, I was for me, demanding that I wanted Ivan Tony in this transfer window in, in January. Until I saw the Brentford game, I'm going by one game. I'm just looking at it and I'm thinking, I'm not convinced. I'm not sure about Ivan Tony. But Arsenal, for me, we need a striker that's going to go on and win the league. And I'm not sure. Look, I can under, maybe he might come in and hit the ground running. Who knows? But there's better strikers out there than him. I know there's better strikers out there than him. I really know there is. Because for me, the striker what I want is Lotoe Martinez or Victor Osmian. I don't know. What, what's your what, about, uh, what about Isaac from Newcastle? What Isaac, is me. But this is the thing. People on social media are just flip-flopping and saying, oh, he's injury prone. I get that he's injury prone. But for me, right, he's a Premier League proven. Yeah. Yes, he doesn't get the amount of ridiculous goals compared to the Sporting Lisbon striker, right? But I've seen this striker play, right? Yes, he's good, but he ain't going to be the striker to go on and win the league. People think he's already world-class already. Half of his fan base don't even watch the Portuguese league. They just make up PR crap. You know what I'm saying? So, like Isaac, yeah, 100% I do agree. Isaac, for me... Right, would be someone who I want to ask them. He's Premier League. Yes, moreover, Isaac can play in all three positions. He's versatile too. Yeah, uh, what do you make about Isaac? I'm I'm big fan of Isaac, man. <laughs> what I like, look for me. Right, I'm gonna get into the chat. Big up to Chu Guna. Welcome to the chat. Hello, Plasma. Gukarez isn't a Premier League proven, but you so you you, you can't really tell how we do. hundred percent, a hundred percent. He's similar to Darwin Nunes. Gokaros is uh, his rise has been similar to Darwin Nunes, in my opinion. Yeah, 100%. and look what has happened to Darwin Nunes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. for me, people are overhyping him, right, and believing, right, that this strike is going to be good enough to go on and win the league next season. Nobody knows if this guy is going to get 30 plus goals, but this fucking fan base on social media, right? We're all believing that he's already got flipping people are gonna think oh he's gonna score a lot of goals already. Why are people jumping into the conclusion that they think that, that this striker is obviously gonna be the issue and people already already are predicting, right, that this striker is gonna be the number one. We don't know that as a fact. I hope he does come in and prove me wrong, and I'll be happy. And that's it, but he isn't. He isn't the man we want. I. It will probably take two or three years. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. But I, I don't know what you make about this comment, Plasma. I don't know what you make. What do you make? Uh, like I don't know what you make. But Barat, what do you make about about this comment? Like I think for me, I don't think it will take two to three years. I think it will take maybe a season. But I think, uh, in my opinion, uh, we will. We need a proven, uh, proven one man, proven striker. We do we need? We can't, uh, we can't uh, take a risk buying this player from uh, Portugal. Uh, we have just been, uh, the, we have just uh, has only I think uh, two seasons. He has only uh, done uh, two seasons. Yeah, in my opinion. I yeah, think. because for me, I'm looking, I'm looking at it right now. Right, there's better strikers out there. 
So people are saying that, oh yeah, how do you know if Victor Osman is going to be good enough in the Premier League, right? If he's Victor coming, Victor Osman uh, hasn't been that great this season, man. No, he's not been as bad this season. I know Napoli have been crap this season, right? Yeah. But the trouble is, but the trouble is, right? People are saying that, oh yeah, this sporting Lisbon striker is going to do a lot better than Victor Osman. So basically, people are going by. Victor Osman has done so poor this season, but but he'll just be like another Darwin Nunes. I'm not. He's not shit. This sporting Lisbon player, but I just don't think the reason why I said on Twitter not for me because I just don't see anything that this guy is. We need a striker that's going to be Premier League proven. Like in January, I was crying out for Ivan Tony, but Tony for me. I've gone off of him in the last few weeks because of his attitude. I just don't think maybe he's not the solution, right? He, I think he's not the type of guy with Miguel Arteta. Uh, and I don't, uh, yeah, I don't think Arteta doesn't like attitude players, and I, and I feel maybe bring someone like Isaac. But people are saying, right? Oh, he's injury prone. I get that he's injury prone, but why are people but not he, having he's, agenda? He's, he's worthy, man. He's worthy. He's but why, worthy more than worthy to spend the money on Isaac. I think Gabriel Jesus is injury prone. Is anyone having to go at Gabriel Jesus? Isaac, for me, if you want a Premier League proven striking, if we're not look, we're not going to go out and sign Victor Osman. and everybody knows that, right? We we know that we're not going to go out and sign a striker like that. But for me, if you want a Premier League proven striker, go and get Isaac. Newcastle. I was on the channel yesterday, a Tottenham channel yesterday, and big up to John Sinclair and Harry Scarf, right? Whether they're watching this or not. For me, I said, look, I, Newcastle are going to be selling players in the transfer window in the summer, right? They're going to be selling players to, to obviously because FFFP rules, right? For the, I think, oh, the, yeah, I for, the, for the compliance, they have to sell. For the compliance with the FFP, they must sell. Yeah. Well, we have a comment right here. Plasma says, Plasma, if you, if you like, feel free to share the stream, man, and... Uh, much appreciate it if you can. Uh, he will be like Nunes, comes to Portugal with big money. Won't put big numbers. Yeah, don't forget, Liverpool paid a hundred million for Darwin Nunes. People, this is what people are psychologically are forgetting. People are not going by, but 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 they think this sporting Lisbon striker is so gonna be the greatest number one striker at Arsenal Football Club. You're paying 85 to 100 million euros, whatever how much the price tag is, right? And for me, people, right, are overhyping him and saying, oh, we don't care about the price tag. He's a good striker, don't get me wrong. I've seen him play, he's a good goal scorer. But the price tag puts me off. That's why I said it, not for me, because... There's better striking. Look, remember, we don't want to go into this situation like we did with Kai Havertz when we spent 65 million. Havertz for me is a good player. I like Kai Havertz. But he ain't worth that price tag. And there's better players out there and better value. Isaac for me would not cost that sort of amount. Okay? Maybe 60, maybe 70 million, right? You'll be get to Isaac. Don't forget, yes, striker is the most important issue we need in the summer. But and we are going to be getting a striker. And if this, look, if this striker comes in, I'll back him. It's not the striker what I want, but I'm sure there's better strikers out there. Because for me, I look, Ivan Tony, for me, I've lost patience with this guy because of his attitude. Yes, in January, I was moaning and bitch, bitching and whining over that I wanted. Tony, because he was Premier League proven, but we couldn't buy anyone because the FFP do you think uh, do you think we'll go for out and out striker or the one who can play in all three positions? I think I think for me, if we're going to go for a striker, I think we're going to try and get this guy from the sport in Lisbon. I really do. I think I think if if Mikel, it's been talked about in uh, in the last few days, everyone's hyping him all up already. Where half of these people, I don't believe that have actually actually watched this guy play. By just going by YouTube clips, right? I haven't watched him myself, man. I haven't watched him play. I, just, uh, I don't know. What do, you make, what do you make about him? Do you think he's good? Who? Uh, Gokores? Yeah, Gokores. 
I, I even watch him play, man. I, I have just uh, witnessed his stats and uh, his stats look uh, unreal, but uh, that's in Portugal. <laughs> we have to consider that. Yeah, look, for me, right, this is the Portuguese league. People got to remember that. And, and look, yes, Bruno Fernandes is a midfielder. He's come from Manchester United. But look, he settled straight away at Man United. I want a striker that is Premier League proven or someone who can actually come to the Premier League that can hit the ground running. Nobody knows if this Gucurez is going to hit the ground running. We've wasted a lot of money in the past. We bought Declan Rice for 100 million because we know that Declan Rice was already Premier League proven, right? So why is it that people are overhyping him over an £85 million striker? Be honest, do you think £85 million is very expensive to go and get a striker of that calibre or do you think he might be cheap? I think, I think it's uh, very expensive uh, because uh, he has not... Uh... He has not played for more than two seasons in a uh, top top leagues, man. Yeah. Uh, before uh, before Sporting Lisbon, I think uh, where from where he came from, uh, Coventry. Uh, Coventry or where? Coventry. He was brilliant. Yeah, Coventry City. Yeah, in Coventry City, uh, he played. To be honest, yeah. he's a Swedish international, and I didn't even knew that until until now. And and for me, he's we a need uh, we need we need more proven. We need more proven players. We has done more than one season. Do you mean? Oh well, if this if this guy does come in, right? Then for me, he's got to prove to me that he's good enough in the Premier League. Because if this fan base on social media on Twitter, right, ends up saying, "Oh, you know what? Maybe Luca's right. Maybe maybe he needs another season. Maybe he's not the right time." Maybe maybe. maybe uh, our our fans are too frustrated by ED. <laughs> well, we are because because for me, I hundred percent agree. Because we have another comment in the chat. Make sure you do go and smash that like button, and please do do go and follow uh, this guy on Twitter. Um, much appreciated because B Waggle. Um, so please do go and follow him on Twitter. Um, he doesn't have a YouTube channel. We have a comment right here. What about yourself, <laughs> and Niasi, Luca, experienced striker? El Nesri. Which, which one? That Morocco. He's Morocco one. But I think Morocco international. A world class player. Oh, ooh, ooh. A world -class uh, just go and get. Um, no, 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 no. I don't know. That <laughs> don't I'm not. I think. I think. I think. I think he's trolling. Um, but we're gonna have a look at other strikers as well. Um, Let's carry on and do talk about this guy. If you're new to the channel, please, please go and smash that like button. Much appreciated. Let's get at least minimum 20 likes on the video. It really helps the channel. If we, we do YouTube for fun and uh, we like to meet new people on the channel. That's how we roll. And um, But I thought I'd bring the stream. We do have another stream tonight. We do have a big guest coming on. We do have Jez coming on um, tonight at 8 o'clock. I do need to go and set the stream. And then after that, I don't know when my next content is going to come out after that. I just subbed to Lucas. Thank you very much for that. Much appreciate it. Um, just share the stream everywhere. It does help the other Raven grow. Um, right. So let's carry on and have a look at Victor um, Bucarest as well. His height is 187 metres. He's from Sweden. He's from Stockholm. Um He's got 22 goals. He's got 2,150 appearance minutes. How uh, old is he? How old is he? 25 years old. So it kind of makes it kind of makes sense for Mikel Arteta. Yeah. Is Mikel always prefer players uh, below 25? People like to class it as Project Youth. So yeah. so Arteta wants to buy a striker where it's going to fit the perfect build. That's the thing. And look, I just hope this guy does come in and actually have a point um, to prove. Right, I because think it's so. Uh, it's only rumor, man. I don't think we'll uh, Mikel will go for this guy, man. I think it's just a rumor, in my opinion. You don't think we'll get this guy? Well, who else is there for me? I take Isaac, but people are saying, right, on Twitter, right, are saying, and I know they're talking to their opinion. People are saying, oh, he's injury prone. I get that he's injury prone, right? But why are people not targeting Gabriel Jesus? I think uh, Osimen has more potential than uh, this guy. What about Osimen? What do you think about Osimhen? 
Victoria Victor Osimhen. Osimhen is the one what I would go and get. But of course, yeah. I can under look. I can understand, right? Victor Osimhen is a is is over a hundred million, and we're not going to spend a hundred million on a striker, and it is a bit of a risk. That's why Arsenal have gone for someone like 85. And for me, to go on to win the league, you need a prolific goal scorer that's going to go on to win the league. So, I couldn't but care less. You, you care you less. go for Osimhen, uh, Osimhen and this Gukuros guy, then uh, uh, I think uh, we have to buy another player in the wing, man. We yeah, have to so need a winger. So have says don't listen to Twitter. Well, someone called me out. Someone called uh, VK. It's Telling me that I'm fully brain dead, that 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 they think I'm deluded, and end up thinking that oh yeah, I don't rate this uh, Victor Victor um, Gukarez. Well, get a Twitter, get a YouTube account, mate, and try and see if you can call me out. Oh yeah, you ain't got the guts. But yeah, Arsenal do need other positions as well. We do need um, a backup to Bakayo Saka. Yeah, we need a backup. That's why that's why uh, Isaac makes more sense than uh, this uh, this guys, man. Because he can play in all, all positions, all three positions. Yeah, who? Who can? Isaac, Isaac, Alexander Isaac. Yeah, Isaac can also play on the wing. He yeah. can also play as the winger. Right, let's have a look at um, Isaac as well um, in just a second. But I do want to do do want to go and have a look. See, this Victor uh, Kukures has been linked with for ages. Former Coventry City striker. I want to have a look and see how many goals he got for Swansea and Coventry, right? And then Coventry, I think uh, he has 34 GA, 34 GA last season overall. Say that again. 34 goal assists. What for Swansea? Yeah. No, 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 not for Swansea. Coventry, I think. Yeah, Co right. Coventry, he yeah. got 38 goals in 91 appearances. Right. No, no, I'm only talking about last season. He played two seasons for Coventry. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. I'm yeah. saying, I'm saying last season, season before, right? And he joins Sporting Lisbon this season, yeah? yeah. So, Coventry, he got 38 goals. Swansea... 38 goals, uh, 34, I think. Yeah. Look at his season, stats. He season. Not great. Right? So, yes, he has proved it from the Championship, right? To a Portuguese league. But you have a look at the other stats. What did he do at Swansea? Nothing. So how many at the club of Arsenal Stazo is a different kettle of fish, man? <laughs> yeah, and it's a different style of play. Yeah. How do we know if this guy is gonna be good enough? In he's more pressure here than he's playing, playing uh, the likes of Coventry and his sporting. So you know what I'm saying? So but you have a look at his stats. He also officially joined Brighton. In 2018, and and it was in the under 23 side, but he made a senior debut for August the 28th and starting in a one nil EFL Cup defeat against that. Yeah, but he didn't. But the reason why he didn't get many goals then because he barely made any appearances. The guy was only boosting to the scenes. But yes, I can understand he has been very impressive at Coventry in that. But I just don't get the hype with these people thinking he's 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 the answer to go on and win the league. But we move, we move, we move. Let's do talk about other transfers as well. And then we will talk about Arsenal season. I can only do this stream probably till about three o'clock-ish. And then I'm going to go out. So, um, of course, let's have a look at Isaac as well. The Newcastle striker as well. So, let's come off this Victor Gukares as well. I want to know what everyone's opinion uh, on this. So, let's have a look at... Isaac as well. Arsenal are interested in signing Isaac, but we'll go to the latest news, which is obviously reported 52 minutes ago. According to London World, no intention for Arsenal for a suffer a 60 million transfer blow. So Newcastle United have confirmed that they're willing to not part ways for Alexander Isaac anytime soon. Putting in a major spanner in works in Arsenal's transfer plans. According to the recent, recent news under our Alexander Isaac, that the 24-year-old joined Newcastle in 2022 under Real Dad and cost around 70 million, which is around 60 million pounds. But when you look at that, right, of course he did join a few, a few, a few couple of years ago. 
How much do you reckon his price tag is actually worth right now? For me, I'd say 70, 80, 70, 75 mil. I think it's, uh, it's around that uh, 75, 75 uh, mark, man. Yeah, because do you know what I like about Isaac, right? What I like about Isaac is he's got that movement. He's got that ability. He, he, he's able to uh, do the hold-up play, right? He reminds you a little bit of Henri, a bit of an yeah. Ian Wright swagger. And I feel like he is someone where I'd hundred percent will take at this football club because you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, right. Have you got any other opinions you want to talk about, mate? Mm, I think uh, his injury record is not that good, and uh, maybe no, it's that not. Will, injury record is that will put good. us off. Only, oh. only concern is his injury record, man. Say that again, sorry. Say that again. Say that again. Only, uh, only injury concern is, uh, uh, only concern is his injury record. Well, Isaac's injury, injury record is not Isaac's that good. Injury record is not, he's not been that brilliant this season. Yeah. So. My only concern is uh, about uh, his injury record. Otherwise, I will, uh, I will take uh, Isaac over any, any other strikers. Yeah, Isaac's my Isaac's the one who I'll take. My number one target is Victor Osman, yeah. right? If we get him, mate, we'll be winning league titles. But how are we guaranteed this guy is going to score in the Premier League? But uh, if you if you look at uh, if you compare the stats of uh, Gabby Jesus and uh, Washington, then uh, I think it's very similar this season. He has not been that pro prolific, Washington. This year. No, he last season, yeah, he was brilliant. Last, but this season, season, he was beast. last season, he was a beast. And yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. For this season, he has not been that good, man. No, he hasn't. But you've got you've got to have a look at Victor Osmian, right? Yes, this season, he hasn't been that great. Yeah. But last season, he last was season, unbelievable. He was, unreal. he was a beast. So... But what can you do? You know, but, but he has done that in Champions League too. He has Champions League experience too. Unlike uh, Go Keres. Thoughts on Tommy Asu signing a new contract? Um, thoughts on Tommy Asu signing a new contract? For me, I think it's brilliant. I think it's brilliant. Um, I think Tommy Asu now signing a new contract. I like Tommy Asu. I think he, I like. What do you make about Tommy Asu signing a new contract? Uh, yeah, man, Tommy Asu. I, for, for, in my opinion, he's the he's our best one v one defender. I don't think anyone is better than him one v one. Tommy Asu. Yeah, 100%. and uh, have you uh, have you look at uh, the terms in the his new contract? Have you look at the terms in his new contract? I think yeah, it's, uh, yeah, well, I saw I it. Two plus one. Two plus one years. Yeah, Tommy Asu's contract. Let's have a look at Tommy Asu's contract right now. So, smash I think, I think, um, I think uh, club has done brilliantly, man, because uh, uh, they have just uh, uh, agreed two year plus one, two year plus uh, one year uh, extension. If yeah, yeah, uh, if he yeah, prove yeah. his uh, fitness, who's that? Who's uh, that? Who's that? Tommy Asu. Yeah. All right, so let's have a, let's talk about Tommy Asu, right? Uh, Tommy Asu has now signed a new contract for Arsenal and will extend um, until at least twenty twenty six. So Tommy Asu for me, I think it's good. I think it's good, and and I like him in that left back position. And I feel like, of course, we do have games coming up like Manchester City and all that stuff, and we do have. Tommy Asu now signed a new deal. I feel Tommy Asu for me is 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 perfect, and mm. I like Tommy Asu because I think uh, I think in our uh, in our knockout games against uh, Bayern, uh, if everyone is fit, then Mikel will go for Tommy Asu. I'm I'm that sure, man. Yeah, I'm, uh, look for me. Um, I'm sure uh, Mikel will pick Tommy Asu against Bayern and against the likes of City. Tommy Asu, look, we've got big games coming up, right? Yeah. And I'm happy that Tommy Asu has now signed a new deal, right? I don't want Jinzenko, man. I don't want Jinzenko against the likes of City and 
uh, Bayern. No, 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 no. But Sinchenko for me, if if I he's, he's a liability man defensively. He is a liability. There has been yeah. games this season where he has been a bit of a liability. You know what I'm saying? So against against Porto too, he was rubbish man. When he came on, he was very poor against Porto. Yeah, look for me, right? He has been very, very, very poor, right? Yeah. But you've got to look at it, right? Kiva Wall for me has done very, very, very well. Yeah, and I'm very I'm impressed. Very impressed. Very, very impressed. Look, I've been very, very impressed with Kiva Wall, right? But with a game coming up against Manchester City, I feel like we need someone like a Tommy Yasu to come in. Yeah. But Mikel Arteta is going to start with Kiva Wall because he's not going to really? throw. I mean, no, yeah, I do, do think he will go. No, I do with, think he will. I do think he will for that because he'll go. But he'll go with Kibberwall because of based on form. He ain't gonna chuck in Tommy Asu in a game like this against Man City. How much Arsenal fans would love to start Tommy Asu in a game like that? For me, I think if we're gonna beat Man City, you start Tommy Asu in that game. I feel like with the likes of City's wingers, Tommy has to start that game. I did look. I like Kibberwall. Right when we first knew about him, I wasn't convinced, but now in the last few games, and I look, I said it in that West Ham game, right? I said I wasn't convinced of him starting because, yes, Arsenal, I don't think they weren't going on good form, but we battered them 6 0. And I was thinking, you know what, Kiva Wall for me has been very, very, very good, right? And that's uh, uh, I think that. Uh... A little bit of tweak uh, in the uh, tactics uh, has uh, led to his brilliant form. Uh, Mikel has uh, Mikel has uh, put Ben White in that inverted position and uh, let Kivir play uh, play in his nor- normal fullback position. Yeah, that wow. has uh, that has led to his brilliant form, Kivir. No, but but the thing, yeah, one hundred percent, I do agree. And because no. uh, these days Ben White, uh, Ben White, uh, Ben White play that inverted role, man. Uh, unlike uh, in the past, where uh, Mikel used to used to play Kivir in that uh, inverted role, but these days uh, Mikel let Kivir uh, in that fullback position and uh, uh, told uh, Ben White to invert. Yeah, I get that. Hundred yeah. percent agree because because for me, look, there has been injuries about Gabriel um, potentially, but there has been a little bit of trans- a little bit of injury news um, about Gabriel. Look, Gabriel's not Gabriel for me. He's not injured. He's he's resting. I think he's, uh, he's just a knock. <laughs> remember when you had Louise Mustafi and Bella in all those times? Yeah, lockdown days, man. I do remember. And things have changed now. Things have changed with Arsenal, and and for me, right? We deserve this, man. We deserve this. <laughs> well, let's hope. Let's hope we can go on and win the league. Let's hope we can go on and win the league because. Can Arsenal win the Premier League? I think we've got a great chance. We're top of the league at the moment. Um, we've got Manchester City coming up after the international break. Um, City will will be without their goalkeeper Edison. The boy is no, going no, to no. Play. I think I think he will be ready. Uh, I think, think Edison is uh, going to be back for Arsenal. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, uh, it's just a rumor, and I think he will be ready. Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, look for me. Do I think? Look to go on to win the league. We have to beat Manchester City. We've got to beat Man City away because I, I will take a point, man. <laughs> I will take a point. Well, I worked it out today, and I work about it. I work. I think about it now and then, right? If we draw to Man City, right, and Liverpool drop at least a point, right, against someone because they still got to go to West Ham, they still got to go to Liverpool, they still got to go to Villa, right? They still got to go to West Ham, Villa, and Man United. I mean, right. If Liverpool draw, say for example, against Man United and Old Trafford, Arsenal draw to City and win all their games, we win the league on goal difference. We do. But, we do. Uh, uh, I don't think uh, any team will uh, win all their matches. I don't think uh, uh, all uh, all three teams will any uh, any matches, man. I think that they will all drop points. Well, hopefully, because Liverpool for me have got. The most easeable, vulnerable fixtures, but no easy game in the Premier League because the three games I just mentioned, which is West Ham away, Man United, um, Man United away, away. 
They're tough games because think about it. Man United are going to be battling for top four between Spurs. Villa are going to try and clinch that top four spot and they want to get Champions League football. Villa have had a good season. Yes, the last few games have had a bit of a, bit of a blip. But Villa for me, right? They've Even not... that Fulham, Fulham away is a bit uh, tricky for them. Fulham away. Ooh, it is very tricky. It will be yeah. very, very, very tricky. Because, because Fulham, Fulham has played very well against the big teams this season. What, they still got to play for Let's have a look if they, if they still got what? They have yeah, to play I think, uh, I think they have uh, they have got to go to Craven Cottage, I think. Who's that? Liverpool? Yeah, Liverpool, yeah. Right, let's have a look at Liverpool's fixtures. Right, let's have a look. Um, right, let me share the stream and have a look. Yes, <laughs> yes. They've got to go to Fulham. Correct. And Fulham have proved it this that's season. A, that's, a, that's a banana skin, man. For yeah, me. but I, look, I expect Liverpool to win that. Really. Right. Like, I know Fulham have been all right, decent. They've got to a League Cup semi-final this season. I get that. but And, uh, and uh, in between that, uh, West Ham uh, away and Tottenham home, I think uh, uh, they will uh, Everton, Everton away will be sandwiched uh, between uh, Fulham and West Ham. Everton away. Yeah, we'll look, I look at that vulnerable that fixture. West Ham game. I look at that vulnerable fixtures and I'm looking the toughest game I say is the three games I mentioned. Man United away at Old Trafford. United are gonna be chasing for top four. I know Liverpool will be the game that they want to get revenge and they'll take the league very seriously. Of course they've got Europa League in between, but they should deal with Atlanta, right? Because Liverpool's pathway, you know it's gonna be a Liverpool buying Leverkusen in the final. You know that's gonna be the final because I, I, I hope so. I hope that's the final I hope what I want to see, see man. That is a final. That is a final. What I really, really want to see yeah. because that would be really ideal, right? If we do get a final, of that a final because I love to have Liverpool be buying Leverkusen. An example of a Chabi Alonso, just to see what if he's that good enough to beat Jurgen Klopp. And I need. I need Granit Zaka to hit the winner, man, <laughs> in the final. 100%. Um, but look, they've got to play Tottenham. They've got to play Tottenham at home. That's not going to be an easy game. Right? Um, and um, and, and, um, with the Merseyside Derby. They have got to play. Yeah, that North. game's got to be arranged, but it won't be a game in hand because it means they'll play the same amount of games. The, you know, that like, game will be between uh, Fulham away and West Ham away. That even on our game. Fulham and West Ham away, back to back London derby. I yeah, think yeah. For me, the only game I can see Liverpool struggling is Villa and Man United. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because West Ham, opinion, not, uh, they are, that's the only two game the, they will drop points. West Ham are not that great this season. They haven't won many games in 2024 in the calendar of the year. Fulham is a tough place to go to. But have they really got anything to play for? No. Villa you never know. Man. You, you never know. You even never know know what happened to us. We haven't lost this year, right? And in the league, right? Look, look what happened to us against Southampton and West Ham last season. <laughs> anything can happen. Look, anything can happen. Okay? But we're going to find out where this Arsenal side really are when we come to Manchester City. That is the pecking order. That yes, is. Uh, I think only thing that will prevent us from winning the title will be uh, mentality. I think it's about mentality thing. Yeah, it's the mentality. I think we've got the players who can beat Man City. I really do. But it's just about whether what Arsenal can turn up. It really does. Because if we can turn we up... To, we, just just have to, we just have to eradicate that uh, individual error. Huh? Individual error against big team uh, has cost us in the past. Well, yeah, of course, of course. There's, there's, there has been teams. Um... Look, look uh, against uh, Liverpool also, uh, Saliba, Saliba committed that individual error. And against, uh, against uh, I think, uh, uh, which team? Uh, I forgot. Against Nottingham Forest also, Saliba committed uh, the error. And, and and August Brentford, uh, Ram still committed the error. We just have to eradicate uh, such individual errors. Then I think we'll be fine uh, at Etihad. So do I, well, yeah, I think. Look for me, right? There has been there is players out there who are not going to the international break. The the three Brazilians, Jesus, Martin, and Ian Gabriel, are not going to the international break. Party's not going to the international break. Tomiyasu. Right? 
Tommy is not going to the international break. So those are the main key players. We're not going. We just got hope that like, the likes of Salib Rice will be fine. Saka will be fine. We just got hope Saliba don't get injured. Just got to hope Saliba does not get injured. Him. Or I Tom, don't think. So. I don't think Saliba will play. Play, play um, for France he's back after the international break, which is really going to give us boost. So if Gabriel for me was out for that Man City game, you could play Timber and Saliba at centre back. But Mikel Arteta, when I was at the Charity Shield, they played during Timber at left back, right? Yeah. But Timber and Gabriel, right? You could play them at you could play them at centre back if Gabriel wasn't fit, or you play Tommy Yasu at centre back and play Timber at left back. That's how we've got good options. But will it actually affect the back four what we've played against Manchester City? Maybe, maybe, but. I think for me, right, I think to go on and win the league, I think we've got to beat Manchester City. We'll get at least minimum a draw. If we lose that yeah, game, if we lose that I game... I think it's a, it's a must win. I think it's a must not lose. Must not no, lose. No, it is a must win. It is a must win, my friend. Because for me, if I'm sick and tired of Arsenal going to the Etihad, not proving themselves that they can be title contenders. To go on and win the league... But it's a huge tax, man, to beat this Manchester City side at Etihad... Uh... City can be that. beat. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not holding that against them. They can be beat, but it's whether this Arsenal side are good enough to win at the Etihad. And I think when did we, we are, last uh, beat them? The way at we're Etihad. Playing, I think the, the way we're playing at the moment, we can beat anyone. Okay, yes, Porto. We're not playing. We didn't play well, but we got the job done, right? But for me, I think if Arsenal for me can have a fully fit squad, I don't see us losing this game. If we pick up any injuries like the likes of Saliba and that from now into that game, I'm not confident going into that game. But right now, as an Arsenal fan, I don't see us losing that game. I think we draw the game. Our, our defense, uh, defense is key. Our defense has yeah, been defense brilliant. Man. That game is key because don't forget, Man City are going to be playing attacking, attacking play. Yeah? They're going to be playing very good attacking play, and Manchester City for me, you've got to frustrate them. You've got it's the type of game where Martinelli Martinelli will be key. It's the game made for Martinelli. Let's, yeah, this is the game. If you have Martinelli and Timber yeah. and them not back, right? Someone says in the comment, big up to Cameron, welcome to the chat. How are you? I'll be happy with a point, so would I. Salib would be okay, but I don't think he's starting. Nah, Salib yeah. will not start for France. Yeah, no, Why no, no. Why are you saying that not going to start for France? I've had, mate, I've had a couple of people saying to that me, I think it was yesterday, Yesterday, and someone said that to me yesterday, and outside of YouTube, and people were saying to me, "Oh, Saliba's not going to get ahead." Well, who's going to get ahead of Saliba? Saliba's on form. December, December, doesn't pick Saliba. I think he will go for Upamecano and Konate. Possibly, but but who? I, I don't know who France has got. Any, I know they've got Germany. I think Germany and Holland, right? Yeah, Germany and all. So, 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 I know they're two good teams, but this is international friendly. Unlike let's hope, uh, let's hope he bends Saliba. We yeah, don't care. Saliba, because if he benches Saliba, Saliba's going to start in the Euros in the summer. So, if or maybe he might not start. Saliba's better than yeah. Kanati and Upper. We all know Saliba is better, but uh, they good that the same guy, the, the same guy always starts uh, Upamecano and Konate. Yeah, I, look, Canate is a brilliant player. I like Canate. Don't get me wrong. I, I'd have him at Arsenal, but we've got Saliba and Gabriel, so we're all good at cent centre backs. We're all covered. So I just feel like in, in defence is going to be a key issue against Manchester City. And look, they can be stopped. But you, what do you really... think we'll uh, start uh, alongside defence? I don't see us losing that game. I think. I think for me, if if we don't pick up any injuries, because most of our players are not going to the international break. It's just Saka will be fine. Yeah. Rice will be fine. Ramsdale won't play for England, right? Might play against Belgium, right? But he doesn't get in the Arsenal squad anyway. I just feel like maybe Saliba, Trozard, those Odegaard. Kind of, Odegaard. Yeah, Odegaard as well. I think if those three are the key, if we don't get them injured... With Partey not going, Jesus not going, Timber not going, Martinelli not, not going. Really. Gabriel's gone back home now. He's fine. We can get Manchester City. 
Would you think we'll start alongside Declan Rice? Would you think we'll start alongside Declan Rice at Etihad? Right now, at the moment, we don't have any injuries apart from maybe Gabriel has a little bit of a knock. Right now, it's too early to predict the lineup because I'm doing my preview next week. But if I had to tell you right now, I, of, of course I'll go with Ryan and goal. Ben White. No, no, Silva, no, no I asked so, uh, who do you think will start alongside Declan Rice in that midfield? Who do I think will start alongside Declan Rice? Or? Declan Rice, yeah, yeah. Probably be Havertz, so Odegaard, Rice, someone like that. I think uh, we have to go with a double pivot of Jorginho and uh, Rice. I think for me, Partey has to start that game. I think but, uh, no might, I know people might be a little bit of offended because of his injuries and that, but I feel a game like that in a one-off game is Thomas Partey ready to play because he came on and made a couple of appearances against Brentford and Porto. He wasn't that very convincing because of the injuries, but I feel a game like that against at the Etihad when a player has not played for such more time with with what a Thomas Partey when a fit Thomas Partey is ready to play when he says he's ready to play. You've got to go with Rice, Partey and Odegaard. I wouldn't play Jorginho in a game like this at the Etihad, especially against Manchester City's midfield. I feel like you need a Thomas Partey in the game. If we play, if we, if Timber somehow makes the squad, look, he's not going to start. I think he's going to start. No chance. <laughs> no chance. No chance. Maybe make a little an appearance on the bench. Maybe you will get a few minutes against Luton, Luton at all. Better than nothing. It's better than nothing. At least we actually get to see him in, in a shirt perform, yeah? even if it's two minutes. But I would start Thomas Party, Rice and Odegaard if we don't pick any injuries from now until the international break. Then up front has to be Saka. Up I don't know. Do you start Kai Havertz in a game like this against Man City? Because hundred percent, hundred percent mid, I will start Kai Havertz. Because we're gonna have chances against Man City and Havertz is gonna be one of those players where well, I need the ball. To me, you got no. Do, do you know at uh, uh, why you will start ever because uh, against the high pressing teams like uh, City, Liverpool, and uh, Brighton, ever is key, man. Ever to play, play and you will create right. space for the likes of Martinelli and Saka. For me, it's very difficult, it's very debatable. Do you bring a Gabriel Jesus against Manchester City or do you feel like Start habits. No, no, no. I think Evers deserve, uh, deserve uh, to start against City. I think we could beat City without Jesus. But for me, of course, have Jesus around the team because he adds that bit of quality off the bench. But Jesus can come as a super sub. Yeah, later on. Like he did against Porto where it took Arteta 81 minutes to bring a substitution on. But Jesus, Jesus for me, I have him on the bench. Yeah, start exactly. habits in that game. Play Saka and maybe play Martinelli up. Martinelli. Have Havertz in that false number nine. But we see, man, we see. You know, the game's about a week and a half away. And uh, we can enjoy for now that we're top of the yeah. league at the moment. Let's just hope we can go to the Etihad and not lose that game. That is going to be the first time. I think for the first time under Mikel Adeta, we'll be going to Etihad uh, with our full strength squad. I think, look, look for me, if we go to the Etihad, like I just told you earlier, and, and we have a fully fit squad, I, I don't see us losing that game. I think we get yeah. a draw. I'm, I'm, we... I'm confident of uh, getting at least one point. I'm not confident of winning, but uh, I don't think point, we'll lose. If we get a point at the Etihad, then we have to not rely there. on Liverpool to draw a game, which is still doable. We win all those nine games. I know we still got to go to Old Trafford. We still got to go to Brighton. We still got to go to Tottenham. But it's the one I game think, uh, out of uh, out of ten games. If we uh, win eight and uh, draw two, then I think we'll win the league. I don't think so because 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 I think Liverpool will drop uh, drop points, my mate. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Let's see. Let's see. Um... But we have to win. Uh... Uh, at least eight games and uh, take a draw at Etihad uh, or uh, Old Trafford and uh, White Hart Lane. Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. Because uh, it's not that simple for Liverpool as well. They will also feel the pressure of that uh, club, uh, club farewell season <laughs> and uh, they may be emotional. <laughs> that might uh, come to hurt them. 
maybe, maybe. But um, we are going to invite someone else coming on the channel as well. Uh, Rory's going to come on as well, RD12. He does want to talk about um, supporting Lisbon strikers. So feel free to more welcome to come on. And we were going to go back into topic and do do talk about um, Victor Gukares. Um, as well. <laughs> Um, mate, you, you should get a YouTube channel, man. You know what I mean? I may not upload every single day, but I put the odd video out now and then when I can. So, yeah, man, I'm go. not. Uh, uh, I only use Twitter and uh, I don't use uh, YouTube that much. That's why. Fair enough, fair enough. Stay away from the YouTube, man. It's a funny game. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm, re I'm, re I'm ready to do to talk about Arsenal daily. Please inform me uh, whenever you go live. I will be there. Yeah, 100%. We're waiting for Rory to come on now. So if you've got any other questions you want to ask me, feel free to answer some questions in the comments. Um, have you got any questions to ask me? You got any other questions you want to ask me? Uh, for me? Yeah, if you got any questions you want to ask, I'm going to wrap the stream. I think. Uh, what about uh, what about that uh, uh, Martin Martin Zubimendi? What about that Martin Zubimendi from Real Sociedad? Martin Zubimendi, Martin Zubimendi for me is a midfielder who I'll take at Arsenal. Um, I think he's quality. I've watched a couple of clips of him um, of Real well, Sociedad. Um, he is he is a midfielder where I would ideal go and get. You'll be, uh, I think he's like that uh, uh, Jorginho esque player. I think he's like Jorginho esque player. Yeah, he is. He is. He is. Let's see. I think uh, we'll uh, buy at least uh, four players uh, in the summer. Uh, one will be yeah, that think, uh, think, forward I striker. For me, I think for me, we need. Um, we need a Saka backup. We need a Saka backup. Saka backup. And then uh, that uh, midfielder, one yeah. more midfielder. And also, I think we need a striker as well. Big up to disabled team. Welcome to the chat over you. I hope you are good. Um, I hope you keep them well. Hope your friends are Jordan as well. Guys, I'm going to drop the link in the chat. So anyone's more welcome to come on. I ain't going to go far too long. So if anyone actually wants to come on and say this, say about... Um, the transfer window. We will be live tonight at eight o'clock. We do have Jez coming on the channel later on, and then we'll be done for today after that. So, um, are you free or uh, you have to go to work again? No, no, no. no. I'm, I, I'm, I've got a stream at 8 p.m. UK time. I've got someone coming. No, on. no, no. I'm asking, uh, do, do you have to go to work or uh, you are free uh, after when's 30 this? minutes? When's this? When's this? Uh, when's this? What? Sorry? Um, so what? So you want to do another stream? No, 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 no. I think uh, I am talking about tomorrow. Today, uh, today, tomorrow, today, be available. today tomorrow. I don't look. My next video is probably not going to be until the weekend. So um, I don't upload every day. Uh, Jordan, how are you, man? I'm good. I'm good, Luca. Hey, so, what are we saying? Yeah. Hello. Okay. Yeah, this 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 striker from Sporting CP. Yeah, um, he's not um Premier League proven, do Luca. Yeah, but is this Victor Gukarez good enough? Well, he's doing well enough for Sporting CP. Really help Arsenal win the league title. Well, um, I think you guys should go out try to go after Ivan Tony. He's close to summer right now. So you need is, to check for Ivan Tony. Yeah, but Ivan Tony for me, would he even come to Arsenal? That's the thing. I think because uh, I'm hearing I'm hearing in his interview that probably looking at Real Madrid instead. <laughs> no, no chance. Real Madrid. Real Madrid. What? Yeah, Ivan no, Tony no. to Real Madrid. No chance. I'm not sure if it go up in you just say that in his interview. But like I never watched his interview though. That would yeah. be in his dream only. <laughs> he can dream. <laughs> Look for me, Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony. Look, I'd love to have Ivan Tony at Arsenal, but 
as I've seen in the last few weeks, I'm not sure, man. I'm, I'm not I will sure. Tony failed, failed that audition game at Emirates. I he was, he was bullied by Salve and Gabriel in that I game. With Ivan Tony, I just think his attitude is the problem. That's my only issue. No way, Mikal is taking the player of that atti attitude. No, oh, really? no way. But Jordan, look, yeah. what, do, what do you make about Victor Gukares? Because he has now scored like 30 goals um, a season, right? Whoa. He's not, he's not like Haaland, um, um, Luca. He's not like, a, like I heard you um, from the start about Haaland there. He's not like Haaland. Haaland is just a, a different different player in his own self. Yeah, but he's no Haaland. That's the problem. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, if he come to the Premier League, how much goals will he score? Because Haaland is scoring probably 30 yard goal right now. How much is on? Probably 17, 18, maybe that. And um, if he comes to the Premier League, what will he do for you guys? For you guys, because yeah, you need a backup right wing. Well, look for me. Look, people might look. I've look. I've seen this guy play, right? And right now, yes, he's one of the best informed strikers in the world. But how do we know if this guy's going to score this amount of goals in the Premier League? How do we know that? Yes, it is. That's my yeah. only issue. Yeah. Mm. And like, those means are just the league too, as well. He's not familiar with it. Yeah, with a couple of really... as well. Um, afternoon, L Tell Cockerall. Hello, how are you? Uh, big up to you as well from replying to the disabled. Ivan Tony's dream is moved to Real Madrid. Mm -hmm. So he ain't getting in that team. He, he's living in, he's dreaming. All good, Stu. I hope you're well. <laughs> Uh, Ivan Tony would suit Arsenal as he wants to join them. Ivan Tony would suit Arsenal and he wants to join them. Uh, I absolutely agree with that as well. He yeah, he's good with it. Mikel, Mikel, Mikel will say no to him. Oh, Mikel Arteta. Yeah, I, th I, don't, uh, I don't think Mikel will take the player of that uh, attitude. Say that again, sorry. Uh, I don't think Mikel will take the player of that uh, attitude. No, I don't think he will because because yeah. for me, right, I look at Ivan Tony, his attitude stinks. Yeah. That's my only issue. And I just I just feel I just feel with Ivan Tony, I just he's a good striker, don't get me wrong, he's probably proven, but but uh, I, I, I will take uh, Ivan Tony over that uh, Victor Victor Gokeres. I will take Ivan Tony all day long. Well, over over that Victor Gokeres. So would I if he becomes a cheat of value? So do I because uh, Championship in Portugal, Championship Portuguese League is a leap of faith in the Premier. League. The Premier League is a different league. It's very physical. That's the problem. But. Look, for me, Jordan, Liverpool, we talk about Liverpool now. You've been linked with some players as well. And yes, Jamal. Uh, Jamal Musiala, Michael, Michael Edwards, like, Keane, and Prince Jamal. Yeah? German international. Yes, which one, yes. Which yes. one's German international? We're talking yes. about we're facing, we're facing France. We're facing France on Saturday. Where are you talking about? Sorry? We're talking about um, Liverpool linked with some other tr transfer targets. Oh, yes, indeed. Um, Jamal Musiala from Bayern Munich. So, yeah. I want Jamal at Liverpool. Uh, I, I, I think with this new manager now, we, we, we might bring him Jamal in. So, that's the target Michael Edwards is keen to do, bringing, bring the German to Anfield. So, yeah, I would be happy to have him. 100%, 100%. I think he's a quality player. He's a quality yeah. player, and he's a quality player. Who? The, yeah. the Jamal Musiala? Yeah, Jamal. Yeah, Jamal yeah, Musiala. I rate him very highly. 
He's a he's yes a because top, um, because he is doing very well for Bayern Munich despite their I think they're in they're in second in the Bundesliga but he is really yeah. um the the, the 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 work with him and Kane was fantastic. I, I like the, the the partnership between him and Kane. Him assists Kane and look and and they're going to face Arsenal in the Champions League. And um with him coming to us is very good. We really really need a midfield and this will be the chance for us to. But really our defense is our defense is uh, the best in the Europe. <laughs> they have a very yeah. very this uh, tough tough game. The, uh, Premier League experienced player, I think Sane will give him some motivation and Harry Kane because these guys and also Eric Dyer will also give exp um, advice how the league runs. Yeah, so he will absolutely take those um, advice from those players that used to play in the Premier League. Like I think Serge Gnabry used to play in the Premier League with Arsenal, Leroy at Man City, Kane and Eric Dyer at Spurs. So with Jamal coming, he will just um do what they what he have to do and yeah indeed uh, 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 uh it's um for us as Liverpool fans really want this German boy and it's good indeed uh, really uh, but with uh with Klopp leaving uh, I don't think uh, uh Musiala will come to Liverpool um Jamal so yeah, German Museum. Yes, yeah. Um, well, well, it's what um our um well Michael Edwards is back at Liverpool. Yeah, Michael so, Edwards back at Liverpool. And yeah, what, so that that's what he used, he Richard Hughes or who, who Richard Hughes, I think. Uh, Michael Edwards, he's our um Richard Hughes. Yes. Mm. Michael Edwards, uh, uh, what sporting director of Liverpool or what? He's yeah, 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 he's, uh, yeah. He's a uh, sporting director. Yes, he's indeed. So he, he's the one that signed Allison, Virgil, Andy Roberts, and Robertson, these. Like, yeah. Boy. So yes, indeed. So yeah, Robertson with, from All City. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With him uh, coming back, it's good. So he's now, as in as in return now, he's keen now, keen on bringing Jamal to Liverpool. So yeah. Maybe uh, he's targeting JB Alonso too. Yeah, yes, and also him as well. So yeah, so I'm hearing that he's probably not going to be leaving, but let's see what happens in, at the end of the. Season. But I think JB Alonso will uh, move to Bayern Munich over uh, Liverpool. I'm also hearing that as well. So yeah, he will prefer yeah. Bayern Munich over Liverpool, in my opinion, because his uh, pressure is too high at Liverpool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for him to come to Liverpool, you know, he will absolutely do some. It's like, oh, we have Darwin Nunes. He's also a part of Uri Club's signing system. So the new manager, no, I don't, I'm not sure if we'll be still using these guys that we have now using with Uri Club still in charge now, straight until May. But um, it's what it's going, probably it's going to be change around. Probably will he will probably bring in some of his. Players indeed, I'm not sure, but yeah. But it shall become uh, it has like Allison, Trent, and uh, all of these players now that play. I don't cross. think uh, Salah will uh, stay at Liverpool, I think he will move to Saudi next season. Yes, 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 Saudi. Yes, um, I'm um, I'm hearing that Al Etihad, Al Etihad in the in the pro yeah, league, yeah. 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 So if he Salah leaves, will leave, and uh, I, I don't, I think uh, Van Dyke. And I may yeah. consider his future with club I'm leaving. I'm not sure about Virgil doing it because look, right now, next year, 2025, their contract expired. So, yeah. yeah. This this is their last year in the Premier League. And I don't think that uh, Michael Edwards will uh, reward a new contract to uh, aging players. Yeah. But I think that he might let Virgil stay. I'm not sure if we will let them stay. But Virgil is our captain, but... Yeah, I think Michael Edwards will let Virgil stay because he is our captain. So, yeah. Are you the Liverpool fan? Are you a Liverpool fan? Yes, yes. I am a Liverpool supporter. From where you are talking? Uh, which country? Ja Jamaica. Which country? Sorry? Jamaica. Uh, Jamaica? Oh, nice. Mm. 
Yeah. I'm fr I'm from Nepal. Oh, okay. What time is it there in Jamaica? Um, it's ten o'clock. Ten o'clock uh, in the night. Morning. It's morning. Hey, morning. <laughs> it's uh, eight forty. Uh, uh, PM. Eight forty. Eight forty PM here in Nepal. Yes. So yes. Um. Yes, because I'm going to do a stream about um, Jama and Musiela today. And, yeah. and also, it's international break, so I'll be talking about the German squad for Euros. Do you have a, do you have a own channel? Yes, I have a channel. Yes, indeed. I'm on the road so to... Send me the link and I will... Uh, Luca, I will they can, subscribe. They can, ask, they can ask Luca for it. Luca knows my channel, so he can send you on your... Yeah, okay, okay. I will subscribe your channel. Yes, on Twitter. So you can ask Luca and he will absolutely send it to you on Twitter. Okay, okay. Okay, friend, so okay. Can... Yes, because sure. I'm, um, yes, indeed. So, yeah. So, yes, you can see the link. It will be brilliant title list. <laughs> yes, indeed. It's going to be mouth-watering. Mm -hmm. So, yes, yeah, so, um, okay then. So, I'm um, going to prepare for my stream um, today. So yeah, I'll forget. Um, it prepared. So yeah. So um. So now, so now you will go or what? Yes, I'm going, man. I'm going. But um, I'm gonna be live on my channel today. Where is Luca? Where is Luca? Um, I'm going to I'm going to message him right now. So yeah, tell him that he's gone. So yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah, about eh? Um, I'm making thumbnails now. I'm making thumbnails for my channel, so I'm doing. I'm gonna do do that as well. So I've, um, so I'm making thumbnails. Okay, brother. Okay, go and uh, uh, prepare for your show tonight. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. I have to say it, but you have to trust Ateta and back who he decides to bring in. Yes, he's got some signings wrong, but lately he has got a lot right. Yes, man, we have to give a big credit to Mikel Ateta. He has bring this team from the rock bottom to challenging the likes of Juggernaut in Man City and Liverpool. He deserves his flowers. But uh, he needs to win some trophies too. He needs to put us over the line. In the last two seasons, he failed to uh, get us over the line while chasing uh, the top four and uh, uh, title last season now he must help us to get us over the line A big up. Hey, Luca. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, friend. Yeah. Yeah. Where did you go? Where did you Sorry go? Sorry about that, guys, man. Sorry about that, guys. But I, I was, I was back and back and back. 
and um, of course I had to that guy, the, I had is to that guy a Liverpool fan? I had to is make that guy a Liverpool fan or what? That Zoda. Sorry, again, sorry. Is that guy a Liverpool fan? Yeah, he's a Liverpool fan. He's a yeah, Liverpool he fan. told me he's a Liverpool fan. Where are you going now? Are we are you going outside? Your video is not working. Are we gonna continue this stream or in it? Now, friends, I have to end this stream and we'll meet you soon later this week.
Right, there we go, people. I do apologise. I know it was a bit unprofessional, so I had a bit of problems uh, with my computer. I had internet problems. Um, but we are back again, so if anyone, we probably will have to wrap the stream up in just a second. So I do really, really um, apologise about that. But of course, um, look, for me, as I say, Victor Gukarez, right? I'm still not convinced whether we'll get this strike or not. Is he really the answer? to go and get in this transfer window because 85 million pounds, right? But I do want to say thank you, thank you very, very much for obviously him coming on. And I do apologise that, of course, the stream wasn't continued. I know it sounds a bit unprofessional, but we are back um, tonight at eight o'clock. I'm going to schedule the stream. It is a busy, hectic day for me this week. And I do apologise, I had a phone call to do because obviously I think I just bought my Stockport County ticket. So I have to go and double check and then I need to double check if, if I've actually confirmed and bought it because a Stockport County ticket was obviously sold out and, and that. And then, of course, they've reached sort of 100 tickets. So I've got to shoot down there tomorrow morning early, like first thing in the morning to make sure that I've got my tickets. So, but anyway, regards, if anyone, we are going to wrap the stream in just a second. Um, if you haven't gone and actually watched my Victor uh, Gukares at the beginning of the stream, make sure you do. We are back at 8pm. But there is one thing I do actually want to get off my chest, right? So, people are saying to me, right, that, oh, this guy does it for views. Oh, he does it for views. Oh, he begs. Oh, he begs. I don't do it for views or begs, right? But what I will say is, yes, I may not get many numbers in my chat anymore, right? But I couldn't care less. And I know the reason why I don't get, I only get one to two people watching every single stream. Because people don't turn the notifications on. People don't have those little notification bells on. Because I used to get 100 people watching now and then, not all the time. But now the reason why people think that People think that I'm too negative and too cocky. Well, don't watch my channel then. But people having a problem that I'm bombarding, dropping links and all that stuff. Well, don't watch my fucking channel then. Simple as that. But guys, on a bombshell, we are going to end this stream. I've done my ranting for today. Guys, we will be back at 8 o'clock. Of course, we have Jez coming on the channel. I think it's about time we do shut this stream down. And guys, I'll see you at 8 o'clock for when Jez comes on the channel and we are going to be talking um, about um, Arsenal season so far. Maybe touch on this a little bit. So take good caress, please. We are sick of him. Mate, what makes you, what makes you, what makes you think that you are sick of him? What makes you that you're sick of him? Explain to me why in, in detail. And welcome to the channel. I've never seen you in the channel before. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. We are very, very, very close to 6.6k. 6, um, K. So um, make sure you do do smash that like button. I'm a... Wait, you're the Benfica fan. Are you the Benfica fan who I had who I had on my channel in lockdown? Are you the Benfica? No way. You're a joke. <gasps> Hey, long time no see, man. How you been, man? Long time no see. Do you want to... It's up to you. It's up to you, right? But if you want to come on, if you want to come on and have your say about this striker, the link is in the, link is in the chat. I'd love, I'd love to get you on and actually have a bit of detail about Victor Bucharest. But, th but this guy has 30 goals this season, right? This guy has 30 goals. What makes you think that you're not convinced of him? Are you just saying that you're sick of him because you're, you're Benfica sport? I'm not at home, bro. But that's, that's fine. No worries. But give me your opinions. Do you think this guy is good enough to be in the Premier League? Do you think this guy is good enough to be in the Premier League? But we can do it at some point. Yeah, no worries, man. We'll, we'll sort something out next week. We'll sort, we'll sort something out... Um, next week and just drop me a dm and uh we'll do a collaboration and uh 
I would I would love to have you on uh, my channel. And I do remember we did a preview, remember? I think I've still got you on Twitter somewhere. I can't exactly remember if I've still got you on Twitter or not. Um, but let's do a collaboration. I'm sick of him because he's too good for the IEC. He's too good for the Portuguese League. Yes, he's too good for the Portuguese League. Um, but here's a question I do want to ask you if you're still here. Right? Is he good enough to play for Arsenal? Is he Arsenal's answer to go on and win the league next year? We might still win the league this season or not. But is he the answer to go on and win the league for next year? Is he the perfect striker? That's going to be that striker where he's going to be a killer instant that can go and score goals. For me, he's a good player, but he, but people are overhyping that he's a world class player. This fan base on social media, you stick to your opinion, but you like to target me. That you calling me a people calling me fucking flip flops on this social media. Believe in this, right? You have your opinion. If you rate the player, call fair enough. I ain't going through no agendas or anything like that. But for me, people are overhyping this striker. Where people are overthinking, thinking that this guy is going to get the same goals in the Portuguese league. Liverpool paid £100 million for Darwin Nunes. Do remember that, people, on social media. This fucking fan base, of all people. Uh, he definitely has the right characteristic in the Premier League, but I'm not sure if he's the answer for you. As when he played for Atlanta, he showed that he's against strong defenders. He struggles a lot more. Look, he might be good enough in the Premier League. I think he is, but I don't think he's not the solution for Arsenal. I don't think he's not the answer to go on and actually... I want a striker that's going to be prolific. I want someone who's going to start banging goals. That's going to be a classy class striker. This striker for me... It's been good, but people are over him up. I, and I'll say it as that. Honestly, I do. Thank you very much, Vinti, uh, for coming in the chat. It's very, very, very um, long time I've seen you in the chat. Man. And uh, we'll have to do a collaboration for, um, for the channel, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I think you're right. He'd be perfect for Fulham, Fulham or Wolves. 100%, 100%. Now he might be good. He might be good enough as Fulham and Wolves. I think maybe someone like a Tottenham or West Ham, maybe even up greater than that. But I, you know what? I think he's good enough to maybe play for someone like a Villa, a Villa type. No one said anything, Lucas. Don't take small things in your heart. What makes you say that, mate? Uh, big up to Luke, a long time. Hey, yes, Bailey. How are you doing, man? How are you keeping well? Long time no see. Uh, big up to Bailey Francis. I don't know if you still do YouTube or not, but um, you're an Aston Villa uh, content creator. And uh, we'll have to do a collaboration um, for um, that. Make sure of that. Uh, Mid-table uh, team with European ambitious. Luca, what happened to Simpy? I don't know what happened to him. Um, because I haven't spoken to this guy since my old channel. So that's the problem. Uh, Luke, you're back. Yes, I'm back. But I'll get you on another stream, mate. I'll get you on another stream. There's no point coming on now. And uh, I'll get you on another stream. And because um, I'm going to wrap the stream. But thank you very much for coming on. Do follow this guy on Twitter. Love the Saka Chozar profile picture. Um, yeah, I do videos, mate. I'm free away from 500. Yeah, get to Villa TV. 500 subscribers is on 497 that's absolutely achievable get this guy to 500 subscribers it really helps the alva raven grow and uh, get this guy to 500 subscribers how many likes are on the video we're 20 likes on the video much appreciate if we can and um but we are going to close the stream in the next five minutes to so answer me some more questions and then we will be back at eight o'clock tonight, where I'm just about to go and set my stream after this because I have Jez coming on the channel and we're going to be talking about this transfer. We're going to be talking about Arsenal's season. Can Arsenal go on and win the league with the current squad, what they got? How is the international break going to affect? That is what we're going to be talking about in, of course, at 8pm. And then I don't know when my next show is going to be. I couldn't tell you. 
It could be a month's time. It could be two months' time. It could be three months' time. I couldn't tell you when the next show is after 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 my stream with Jez. It could be a very long time. I'm not going to explain the reason why. Uh, Villa play Arsenal soon, says Bailey Francis. Yeah, we do. We've got you. Um, when do we have you? Let me have a look when when we do 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 have Aston Villa. Right, let me go on. Let me go on Arsenal's fixtures. Aston Villa. We've got you. Fourteenth of April. So in about a month's time, then. In about a month's time, we've got you. So it says not long. Not long. It is a little bit of a pecking order. It is in a little bit of a while. Um, so we do have you, of course. Be a tough game, mate. Be a tough game. Twenty-one likes on the video. Much uh, appreciate it. But guys, keep smashing that like button. Bailey, if you want to come on and say you're saying talk about Villa, talk about Victor Gukarez, we can go for a little bit longer. Uh, if not, we're going to wrap the stream up and we will close the stream from here. And then we'll be back at 8 o'clock as I'm going to schedule a stream about, obviously, got Jez coming on the channel. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. And big up to Jez for coming on tonight at 8 p.m. Uh, it's going to be good. Uh, yes, the link's in the chat, mate. The link's in the chat. I'll resend the link again. And Bailey, you can ask me some questions and we'll discuss for a little bit. And um, and then I do need to wrap the stream up because I've got to go out before I come back at 8 o'clock. So, uh, and then from there, I don't know when my next stream's going to be after that. I really don't know when. It could be a week. It could be two weeks. It's when I feel like it. Uh, big up to Isa TV. Hello, how are you? I hope you're good. Uh, big up to you. I hope you're keeping well. Um, right. Where are we? Where are we? Right. Let's invite Bailey. Hello, Bailey. Yeah, mate. You're right. How are you, man? I'm good. Man. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, Right, so let's talk about this Sporting Lisbon striker. Eighty-five million pounds. This striker is worth a more event, right? Is this guy the answer to win the league for Arsenal next season? I think he's um, a depot Premier League um, player. Um, I don't know if he's like a top four team player though. I think he's like a West Ham, a Brighton. Um, but yeah, I think he's definitely a Premier League player. I've been saying it for years. I do like this um, striker. Of course, he played for Coventry last season as well. Um, and yeah, uh, I think he's a really good player. But I think he's like a West Ham, Brighton, maybe a Wolves and Fulham player. So yeah. Yeah, for me, look, this striker for me, this striker for me, right? I look, I look at it, right, and I feel, yes, he has scored goals in the Premier League. I mean, not in the Premier League, in the Portuguese League, sorry, right? But how do we know if this guy is good enough for Arsenal? How do we know if the, people are overhyping thinking, right, OK, let's just pay the £100 million release clause. Let's just pay the 85 mil, Right. How do we know if this guy is going to like hit the ground running in the Premier League? Mm. Yes, he's gone and proved it at Swansea. Yes, he's gone and proved it at Coventry. He banged 38 goals in 91 appearances. But how do we know if this is the, the answer, this striker, where people talk about, Bailey, that you need a Premier League proven striker? Ivan Tony, for me, I'm, 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 I was overhyped this Ivan Tony situation. Yeah. But now I've seen the last couple of weeks, I, he started very well when he came back. But how do we know if Tony's going to be that, you know what I mean? It's a bit of a risk paying that sort of money. I know Brentford price value is going to go down. I think that's 60, 70 million they're offering. But if it is 60, 70 million, then pay that instead of paying 85 to 90 million. Yeah. Definitely. But... I don't know if you'll fit into your team. Um, I don't know. I think you've got much better players than him. Um, you've got, I think you've got Jesus still in there. Um, 
You've got because Trossard you can play up front. Yeah. So I don't. If you want to win the league, I wouldn't buy him. In my opinion. No, I don't think so. I think there's, you need Premier League proven strikers to go on and win the league. Look at Ollie Watkins. Look at Ivan Tony. Look at people like that. Why are we wasting 85 million of a Portuguese farmers league? I just don't get it. I just really don't get it why people are overhyping this striker. I really do. Yes, I am very impressed with his goal scoring, but I think a lot of people are overhyping him. Yeah, definitely. But let's talk about Aston Villa. So, uh, Aston Villa, right? Let's talk about Villa, right? Um, so, what do you make about Villa this season overall? Of course, you guys were supposedly title pretenders, right? And now, do you think you'll get top four this season? Um, to be honest, I think this season has been, you know, really good. Um, Conference League, uh, I think if we get past them... Um, Leo in the next round, and I think we will win it. Um, but Premier League, I think we've had a really good season. Ollie Watkins been getting the goals, um, and beat Man City, beat Arsenal. So I just say Luca, but um, beat both of them. We was really good at Villa Park. Then we just went collapse. I've got battered by Spurs a couple of weeks ago, four nil. Um, then of course. We got back and went. Um, I think we drawn against West Ham one one. Could beat yeah. Ajax four 0 in the Conference League as well. I don't. I don't know if we'll get top four. Of course, I want us to, but I just think you've got to get top four this season. Yeah. I think it's death about a Foster Spurs. Um, I'm saying it now. Um, but I just. Yeah, I think Spurs got a game in hand on us as well. Yes, it's against Chelsea and it's going to be a tough game for Spurs to go there and win there. But we just need to keep winning our games and not worry about them and we'll do it. Um, we've got some big games coming up as well. Called Conference League, got City, um, Man City soon, got Arsenal coming up, got, um, yeah, got some really tough games um, in April. Um, we've got Liverpool uh, in there as well. We've got uh, Wolves coming up. You know, that's our Bogle team. Um, so, we've got some tough games coming up, but we just need to win. And, yeah, we'll be fine. I think we can get top four. Um, but, yeah, we'll see what we can do. Let's wait and see and see what happens. And let's hope we can get those sort of tickets, those sort of uh, situations, because I really, really hope we do, man. So... Mm. But we have to wait and see. But guys, Bailey, I think I'm going to close the stream now. I do apologise, it was very short. But we can talk off stage. i got to go, i got to bounce. So, uh, Bailey, have you got any content coming up? Um, I've got, like, well, it's in national break, so it's really hard to say. Uh, but I, I am doing, of course, Championship Promotion Race. Who's gonna go down? I'm doing like League One and League Two. Um, yeah, I will be talking about, of course, Luca T, MK Dons in there in League Two as well as they yes. are in that uh, title race. But yeah, go and subscribe to me. I'm a free away from 500 Villa TV, um, and yeah, let's try and get me to that and subscribe to Luca. 100%. But please do give Bailey a massive follower. He is free away from that. And guys, we are going to close the stream from here. And I'll see you for the next video. And I'm live at 8pm as I've got to go and prepare the stream. So guys, take care. Bye for now.